Oh, calamity! How dare this fungus attach itself to our princess's beautiful visage? I dare say I'm rather curious as to how the mushroom has fixed itself as well. What a cruel jest this is! I get the chance to meet our adult princess and curses! I guess we'll just have to wait for it to rot and fall off! The shroom, I mean, not her face! Jeez, Toad. Are you well, my dear? Oh, now you've done it, you trumpeting old elephant! The young miss is weeping again! A princess here, a princess there, no rest for me, I fear! Hey, the important thing is that the princess is safe! Come, princess, why don't you lie down for a while? Well, I guess we rescued Peach at the very least, albeit prematurely. Next time on Mario & Luigi Partners in Time, we are going to catch up with Egad and see what our next plan is going to be. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night. The next day. <sighs> Hi. It's midnight. Welcome back to Partners in Time. I'm sick. So why am I recording, you may ask? Because the economy doesn't allow breaks, that's why, that's the rough realities of reality TV, let's play, and that isn't let's play, or the reality TV, kid, or actual reality, reality, is that we ain't got no time for breaks, we just gotta keep on going no matter what life throws at ya. Oh wow, they aren't crying for once. Compose yourself, Elder Me! The princess craves attention! Let's just go with a classic! Ready when you are! Go! Eh. Toad's with the younger. The princess is... She's not... She's not pleased. Good gravy. She's tired of the Toad's with twist. Oh, cause we... Great oogly boogly. Look, Elder Me, she's imitating our move. What's that you say, old bean? You wish to learn our move? Come now, Master Luigi, you've saved the princess. You've earned a sip, a sip, a sip, a sip, a rest. There's no longer any need for you to learn new moves at the moment. And as you can see, trying to keep her little majesty happy is rather full-time endeavor. We can't spare even a moment to teach you such a frivolous, such frivolities. Let us suffer in peace. Hold your tongue, elder me. Indeed, the grown-up princess is safe, but evil abides, sir. Quite frankly, witnessing you being such a stick in the mud has turned my stomach. That's no way to live, and it's certainly not how I wish to be in my autumn years. Ugh, youth. Hmm, very well. You want to learn? Then I will teach. Curse the exuberance of my salad days. I will teach, teach, teach. Of my salad days? What the fruit? What the fruit salad? No. This rally should- this really couldn't be simpler. You merely must run into the babies during a spin jump. The babies will be caught up in the spin and be sent whirling up and away. Huzzah! Let's see, spinning babies. This technique shall be known here, hereafter as the baby spin. How very original. Oh yes, marvelously created. Perhaps our time might be better spent in a naming session. Bah, pay him no mind. He's a bit- Bar me these days. The move is simple. Try it for yourselves. Once the babies are airborne, press the D-pad. You can use D-pad to direct. Yeah, yeah, we get it, we get it, we get it. Just basically what they said. Do that. Do that. And fail at it because I was too far away. Cool. And there you go. Brilliant. I'm quite sure you'll now be able to ascend to places formerly out of reach. So, with the normal Toads with Twist, we were only able to cross far gaps, but this one lets us reach high places, so it's kind of like Luigi's High Jump in Superstar Saga. Oh dear, what are we to do? She's absolutely insatiable! She's tired of this as well. In that case... Are you mad? Not the princess! Yes, the princess! I forbid it! We're going in! Never, never! No! Princess! Oh, 
Oh, dear princess, what have we done? Look there, young codger. You, the princess is pleased. Hmm. Oh, no. Luigi, are you ever up for anything that isn't your idea? What's that you say, old bean? You wish to learn our move, one after another. Ooh. I don't mind teaching you this move, but it appears my aged counterpart is still in shock. Princess! I suppose I could take it upon myself to teach you Sulu this time around. It's quite simple, really. First, you enter Bros Ball mode. Then, all you need to do is run into the babies. The miraculous powers of the Bros Ball will flatten the tykes out, out like hotcakes. This will allow them to fit in tight spaces previously unreachable to you. Even though we already have a move like that with the digging ability and the rolling ability in a way. Do not fret, however, they'll pop right back up in no time. Oh, the flexibility of childhood. Since they took the, since they look like hotcakes, let's ch uh, christen this technique baby cakes. Best name ever. Go on now, have at it! So, gonna go ahead and put them right here, and all we need to do is not do the toads with twist, but use the uh, bros ball to flatten the babies. Then we take the babies in here and they can cross through these super tight gaps. Splendid! And the babies seem to have enjoyed it too. Princess! Forgive me! I... I am... I'm such an old fool! Blimey the wind! How convenient. No! Oh, horrors! Younger me, you scamp! This is all your fault! What will you do now? I ask you, how will you make this right? Keep your trousers on, elder me! That's my blood pressure you're elevating! Really, if I wished to witness myself embarrassing myself, I'd belch in front of a mirror! Okay, but the princess! Steady old bean, Master Mario and the others will undoubtedly save the princess as always. You will save her, won't you? I assure you, she's not in another castle or anything. Ha ha ha. We're counting on you, fellows. Now, now, Elder Me, we'll let Master Mario and the others handle this. Okay, gives us a chance to test out our new abilities. I, when you really think about it, a lot of them are really saney in which they either let you go high or let you go low. Kind of let me think of it like that, but the baby cakes do have extra use besides just going through even smaller gaps, thankfully. Uh, I believe you aren't able to do what I... Uh, let, me, let me just check this real quick. So we go ahead and uh, flatten them real quick. And then afterwards, can we do anything that we can't? So the thing with the baby cakes is because, as you saw, Baby Peach was super light after we uh, after she got flattened, so she got uh, blown away. You could actually do that with these babies as well. When you see any areas that have a lot of wind in them, you could have them jump into it and they can fly through certain areas, sort of like a new form of platforming. So it's cool in that sense, but again, it kind of feels very samey when you think about it. You saved the baby princess. Capital, very well done indeed. You have all of our most heartfelt gratitude. Come now, baby princess. Let us repair the castle. Repair to the castle for a net. What? For all of us. And now that's taken care of. I guess we're gonna go to Ega. This time we switched it up a bit. Went to the Toads with Twins first, and hello. Guess we're switching it up a bit more. We're having an earthquake. Hooray! The terrible. He's back. Royal Chambers. The McRib. Bowser, attack now! The go! Rawr! This time the princess will be mine, you fools! Oh, uh, Mario and that green wimp are here. What are the odds? I'll admit you've handed me my shell before, but not this time. Oh yeah, my horoscope said so. Today's the day I win it all! Rawr! I rule! His stinking horoscope. Go 
Gotta go! HALT! RETURN THE BIG PRINCESS AT ONCE! Toadsworth tackle! Toadsworth total failure. Toadsworth totally convenient plot device! What can we do? Bowser's gotta like the princess again. It's like deja vu. If we don't do something quick, who knows what'll happen? Hurry, we must chase him. Oh, yeah. uh, okay, I guess we have no other choice. In we go. This be really awkward because it's such a long path. Geronimo, he can't jump off just like he did. Unfortunately, speed rain tactics are not on my side today, so the bridges collapse and we now have to walk all the way around whenever we want to access the certain parts of the castle, like the princess's chambers, the royal chambers, but whatever. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and I believe we can talk to Egad now. Uh, no, it just tells us to go to the new time hole. Well, before we do that, let's go ahead and go do some shopping because that's always very important for us to do. Welcome to the shroom shop. Can I buy some items? Yes. Uh, we're going to see what they got. They got ultra shrooms now, which recover 80 HP. Super drops, which recover 30 HP to all allies. And that's about it for now. For rose items, we got copy flowers. Finally, copy flowers are the best rose item in the game. Without question. I'm going to go ahead and buy five of them right now. Uh, that's all we have right now, but it is all we ever really need because it is, because it is the best. As for equipment, we got ourselves uh, no new equipment this time around. I guess we just got some of the underground, so it's not that terrible. But we got new badges, cashback badge. <clears throat> Excuse me, cashback badge. Receive half the price of items used in battle after the battle. So if you use items, you get coins for it. That's kind of cool, I guess. The lucky badge make lucky hits easier to land, which is really cool. I think we'll pick up one of those. Uh, do I want to wear it now? Uh, sure. Maybe. I guess we'll... Uh, get rid of that, I guess. I don't know. Counter badge. Increased damage done when counterattacking. Uh, sure. That also sounds pretty good. And drain badge. Recover a few HP. Depending on how... Uh, we already got the drain badge. So, I'll get a counter badge. And we'll do that. Why not? Uh, anything else right now? It doesn't seem like it. Uh, I guess we'll sell. We don't have anything to sell either, so I guess we're good to go, really. Now, before we head into that next time hole, we could actually do a bit of backtracking through previous areas now that we have the, uh, whatchamacallit, the super duper bros attacks and whatnot. Mainly, we're just going to go back to the desert area because there were some blocks and high places that we weren't able to reach before. But now that we could reach higher places, we could go ahead and access them. So... I will meet you guys in just a moment as we go on a little trip down memory lane. Got ourselves one item right over here. This one contains... An Ultra Mushroom! Is it worth coming back for? Probably not, but whatever. Was that not here before? Huh. Okay. I probably didn't notice this before, because, like, that block is not there normally until you visit the underground. Like, I guess I just skimmed over this warp pipe before, and then this shows you, like... Because I distinctively remember doing this, and then when you come out here, there's like a cutscene of Luigi seeing the block over there, and he just goes and hits it on his own and creates this pathway for you, but when we came here on our first visit, obviously this wouldn't be here, because then we would skip the whole stuff with uh, Coliseum and all that jazz, so uh, this is just a shortcut to get you between the underground and the desert back and forth if you want to, uh, just in case you were wondering. Uh, here are two very easy blocks that I apparently missed. So oh, this was when I was doing the roll around thing, so it was like a race, and I missed out on them. I didn't go ahead and backtrack, so... I guess that's why I missed out on those. Let's see if there are any others that we missed along the way. 
Watch me make it super awkward because those are the only ones. I don't even need to continue on with this. I'll probably cut this out in editing. But in case I uh, don't need to cut it out in editing because there's more things for me to find, I will continue to talk. But that's the right thing was. Okay. Uh, we got two more blocks in this area. We got two more blocks in this area. This one contains two one up supers, which is really cool. And a back attack. And then this one contains. Wait for it. Dramatic tension. A risk badge. Ooh, what does that do? This one tells me it's rather risky. Uh, we got. Uh, the less mushrooms you have, the more damage you deal. That is really cool when you think about it. So basically, don't have any healing items with you and you do crazy stinking damage. Uh, I guess. I'm sure there's some speed range strategies centered around that badge, so if you want to use it for that reason, then be my guest. But I like my healing items, so I'm not going to use it. Uh, it was just a regular block that I decided to skim over, and a beam that I didn't get before. Okay, we got those now. Okay, that's something that could happen when you run away from enemies. You can accidentally trip and lose a bunch of coins, but this game has a ton of coins in it, so it's not really that big of a deal. Unless you run away from every battle, like I did back in the Dizzy Day. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and do not that. I just don't wanna fight the enemy. Don't fight the enemy. Don't fight the enemy. Go here. And a cashback badge. I think that's what we just saw in the shop, if I'm correct. Uh, receive half of the price of the items used in battle. Yeah, we saw that before. So we got one for free right here, which is very nice. And there's one more bean I missed, so grab that. Now that all that is finally taken care of, we can head off to the next world that we saw Bowser go into with the kidnapped Princess Peach. So, we're just gonna jump down here, make our way over to the left, and we can finally reach that time hole. So I think all of them are pretty much opened up to us at this point, aside from uh, the ones that we've already visited. I don't think Fawful has any new badges for us, so I'm not really gonna go down there and check. But if he does, uh, part of me still doesn't even want to use them because of how insanely overpowered I was during the Petty Piranha fight. I don't know how I beat it so single quickly, but that them's the breaks, I guess. Go in here now, I believe. Uh, if there were any beans in here, then I probably got them before when visiting the place on a previous visit. I'm just gonna jump up here now, and we will do a twist, bring the babies on over, and they're gonna go in there on their own! Oh my god! So brave of them! Yes, it's a baby-only level where you only get to play as them, so we're gonna have, like, a very epic quest, and I'm not fooling any of you because you already know that we don't actually get separated when we go into a time hole. Separated and stuff. It was very funny music. It was like... Burp, 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 burp. So, we won't go too far into this level. I know we're already pretty far into the episode, so I don't want to make it super duper long like I usually do. Just want to give you a little taste of what this place is going to be like. It's going to have a lot of thwomps, presumably. Hey, we got some toads, though. Yo! Yaho, yaho! No. This is the Thwomp Volcano. You guys mountaineers, too? Well, we are, and we're extreme! Yeah, you might have guessed from the name, but this is a volcano with lots of thwomps. Oh, and there's also a scientist at the peak named Gadzooks or Ollie Smoke Smokes or something. Okay, that's, uh, interesting. God, there are blocks up there. There, can you see them? Man, they're really cheesing me. See the crevice? Unless you're as flat as an extreme hot cake, you ain't getting inside. Or as flat as an extreme baby cake. Mm, hint, hint, wink, wink. I don't care how extreme you are, unless you can flow, you can't reach that other block. Basically just spelling it out for you. Use your new abilities. I getcha, I getcha. Flatten the babies. And put them in here. And we got ourselves... Uh, Ultra Mushroom, okay. Can't float over there, unfortunately, but we could just use the twist to get them up here and create progress for us. I like the animation on that, looks really cool. Uh, pick them back up. And you got anything new to say? Why can't I fly? I am not extreme. Oh, how sad. Uh, I wonder if he would say something different, like I talked to him after getting the first one. He was like, why can't I be a pancake? I'm not the pancake! If a certain friend of mine is watching this, uh, go down here and get this bean. Uh, pick back up. And I don't think we can reach that pipe down there for the time being, so I guess we're just gonna ignore it for now. Uh, we go up under this pathway. Are there any enemies for us? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, hello, we got something new. It is a thwack. 
Uh, red and green, I believe they're the same enemy, but they just have different designs. So we're just gonna jump with this one. Destroy it right away in one hit. They could summon new enemies. That is their gimmick. Uh, the color of the enemy shows who they're going to hit. So pretty easy to differentiate. Uh, in case you are colorblind though, I guess I could tell you that the angry ones attack Mario and the sad ones attack Luigi. So that's a bit easier. At least they give you multiple ways of trying to see who's going to attack who. Oh wait, no, they have different faces. So that one's super happy and god darn it. Oh, oh, also, okay. I guess I can't really do that. So I was trying to give like a cool tip, but I guess this game didn't think ahead in that regard, I guess, whatever. Uh, but yeah, they could go ahead and uh, keep on respawning enemies, but the color coordination tells you who they're going to attack. Also, I just had to pay attention to what they were going to be attacking with. And so I could see how I'll counterattack it. Just jump on that. I believe they could also, like, form into, like, a big super mech of themselves if they want to. But, though that might be a different enemy entirely. Not really sure. I remember this area having, like, some of my more favorite enemies. I don't know. I just like the thwomp enemies. I'm not really sure why. Just gonna jump at each jump. Uh, they'd be kind of difficult, but uh, in terms of just the like, damage that they're putting out, but once you get the hang of it, it should be no problem. Also, just really overpowered because, like, Luigi is uh, finishing off enemies in one hit now, so it seems pretty cool that we're getting stuff done really quickly. Uh, anything over here we could probably use. They're uh, gonna be using like a lot of these builds. I believe this is the last abilities in the entire game, so we're pretty much fully powered at this point. Uh, it's just a matter of using them like crazy, I guess. Uh, over here we got uh, some stuff that they could grab. Let's do that. And in here we got two ultra drops and uh, 20 coins. Cool. Go over here. Uh, not do that. Just get on up and walk on up. Just up, 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 up and away. Uh, what else can I talk about? Something sort of interesting. I was like trying to like... Uh, usually on Twitter, I like to make uh, reviews of games that I play, but I was like, I dropped the ball super stinking hard with uh, uh, reviewing games this year. So, part of me kind of wants to just make a top 10 video of my favorite games that I played this year and just talk about them all in unison like that. So, I might be doing that. I have a lot of fun with top 10 videos, like back on the topic of like where I want the direction of the channel to go in the future. I kind of do like doing top 10 videos, so like it allows me to showcase other games without actually doing full bullet plays of them and it doesn't feel like it feels like vague enough to where i don't feel bad it just it's not like a one-off thing so if i revisit that thing in the future it won't be too weird because i just like it's a discussion video so i could just talk about anything and any and everything and uh revisit in the future in more detail so top 10 videos might become more frequent later on because i really like making them mario gets a level up unfortunately no longer has 69 hp uh, let's see, got really good numbers all around, really. Uh, I'm gonna give him defense, and of course he just gets one. Luigi, level 19. Uh, okay, that looks pretty good. That looks okay. Speed looks really good. Plus two, okay. Anything that isn't a plus one, I'm okay with. Hello, okay, that was awkward. Just not paying attention to where I'm going, just getting distracted by the music. Really funny music. Uh, let's see. Sounds like music that a Thwomp would compose by himself, I don't know why. Just the, the, just the vibe I get with the personality of him in Mario Party 4. He's like, it took five months to build this place. Very proud of it. Uh, let's go and... I said, let's go and do that. And get ourselves coins. Hooray. Uh, kind of weird, uh, kind of difficult to get them picked up on this little angle, but whatever. We got it done. Uh, let's go ahead and fly them up here, and, okay, that was, I was trying to trick that out, but, oh, you put me all the way back down here, come on, that's no fun, get up here, hit this, uh, two trampolines, which is nice, uh, one coin, and we can just use the bros ball to roll over here, because that's more extreme than just using a pipe, and did not mean to do that, I did, also did not mean to do that, but thankfully we could salvage this if you would get unflattened. Thank you. There we go. Pick up these guys and be on our way. We're almost to the top, so I guess we could just finish off once we get to that first segment. Even though I tried to not make this super long, we're already at 34 minutes. Like, it's just 
Really not good at keeping track of time in this LP, I guess, but we got some more repeat enemies, so I guess I can cut them out to save some time in my car insurance by switching to Geico, because I gotta make that joke every time we talk about time. Which I guess would technically be every episode, because it's Mario and Luigi partners in time. Okay, got rid of all the enemies on this lower pathway, so now we can go ahead and dig a hole right here. Dig a hole, dig a hole, and get ourselves 10 coins. What do you do? We not get the 10 coins from the digging a hole. We got it from the coin block. I am amazing today. Just sick commentary is the best commentary, wouldn't you say, guys? Okay, we're almost at the top. We got into the pipe block right there. Any more enemies? Doesn't look like it, so we'll hopefully have an easy time right here. Uh, let's say extreme danger crevice on left is off limits to wafer thin trespassers What the fruit using the propeller inside to float is also negatory stay out go away and gee I wonder what we have to do could it be disobey the sign who would have thought uh, just go in here wafer thin trespassers so yeah as you can see we can fly up here thankfully because we are flat as a pancake though when you think about it like we're not lighter when we get flat we're just like the weight is spread out through. I guess that does make sense. So we would, uh, kind of like how snowshoes prevent you from sinking in the snow because it spreads your way throughout, uh, more open of an area. So it makes it so, like, you don't fall through because you're not putting so much pressure on just a singular area. But with the baby cakes, it makes it so you can float up easier because you're, uh, more thin in other areas and whatnot. I am not good at explaining things. Also, that's awkward. Uh, let's try and not do that. Let's go and ball roll. I apologize for this like complete commentary diarrhea, like more so than usual. Like, maybe I should not be commentating anytime when I'm sick, but I was really hoping that I would actually finish recording the entire LP today. But I just woke up feeling really stinking crummy, so I'm starting like halfway through the day and just not really great. But whatever, still gonna try. Okay, go in here and dig that up. And I hope there was nothing else left in there. Uh, I'll check real quick just in case and there wasn't okay cool let's go just walk on across over here over this teeny tiny bridge and I'm totally not even standing on top of it right now and we're good Wah! very funny door uh, do we have to baby cake our way up there or just fly probably need to uh, that's gonna take forever all right cool I'm gonna go do that babies go down here Butterflies fly away, I say. Butterflies fly away. Jumpity, jumpity, jump. And perfect landing. Up here. Very, very nice. Go into the gaping jaw. Get the big bros. And end this off with a really generic outro. We made it to the top of this mountain, but probably still more mountain to go. So we are going to continue climbing in the next episode. Next time on Mario and Luigi, partners in time. We are going to do what I literally just said. I'm not good at commentating when I'm sick. Or maybe I'm just not good at commentating in general. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.